Welcome to Wendy's Workshops. This video is called Teaching Preschoolers Numbers and Sets, Part 1. If you watch the first video in this series called Teaching Toddlers 2 and 3 Number Sense Easily Through Activities, you heard us talk about the importance of language and early math concepts. If you have not been counting with your child, start now. Count all sorts of things, body parts, toys, laundry, cars on the street, etc. The science of counting promotes the idea of one-to-one -one relationship, the order and structure of numbers, and relates a name to the idea of a number. Look for future videos in this series uh, talking about numerals 1 uh, to 30, showing larger scale activities like mobiles, dioramas, and paper chains, and extending this book using uh, numerals 11 through 30. These activities are primarily indoor activities and focus on constructing an individual number book, building skills using audio cues, spoken language, visual perception, eye-hand coordination, visual acuity, and small motor skills. This video covers numerals 0 through 5. <clears throat> I will show you activities designed to teach numeral recognition and differentiation. That means, for instance, number 3 and number 8 look very similar. But they, are, they have different names and they have a different set value. Number and set association. This is number eight. It represents a set of eight things. It has a value of eight. And then we will also be looking at numerical order one, two, three, four, five, like that. The two main resources for these activities are patterns from two books published by Wendy's Bookworks, available at wendysbookworks.com. That's www.wendysbookworks.com. They are Number and Shape Art and Paper Plate Math 1. I am using scrapbook size pages in a binder for demonstration. Teachers on a tighter budget can use construction paper held together with rings and tied to clothes. These can be stored in the child's cubby. The number and shape art provides the patterns for the large numerals and the pieces to make each numeral into something representing the number. So, one is for somebody special, that's me, two eyes wink and blink and help me to see. Three wheels on a tricycle that I can ride. Four windows, four sides of a window. Let's look outside. Five are the fingers I have on each hand. Six legs on a ladybug help us to stand. Seven days of fun fill each week. Eight legs on a spider made Miss Muffet say eek. Nine pretty petals. Stretch up to the sun. Ten little toes really help me to run. But when we start our book, we start with zero. There is no set associated with zero. And it is critical to understanding place value in the future. So always begin with zero uh, when you're counting. Zero, one, two, three, like that. <clears throat> For each numeral, one of the pages will be consistently, have, have the numeral consistently unembellished, and in this case they are yellow num numerals. We have a little uh, ring up here that will hold items that make a set for that numeral. And in this case you can see this is zero. I have the word empty and an empty glass, and I have an empty little plastic bag. 
My second page for zero also shows an empty container, the word zero in a little pocket. And this is a spot we did the spiral cut on the inside. If we pull it forward, oh, there's nothing inside the zero. Most of the numerals have at least three pages. When you're using, when you're um, doing things with preschoolers, trying to get concepts going, it is good to have repeat at least three times. That helps set the concept. Here you can see the yellow number one. I have cut pieces on a second one to make a puzzle, so they can use this page to make a puzzle. Let them cut the pieces. It's more fun for them to put, do the puzzle repeatedly if you do that. I've used pockets out of Paper Plate Math 1, and the pockets hold a numeral one, the word one, and a set of one. And our ring up here holds one penny, a one cent. Here's our project. One is for somebody special, that's me. And here is a picture. Here's our picture of somebody who's definitely special. And over here is one done by my nephew Jackson. He's four years old. And he uh, does go to preschool. So you can see his cutting skills are actually pretty good. We're not worried that anything's perfect. We want them to do the project and have fun and you want to interact with them using language. Um, I asked him if he wanted to make the one look like himself, and he said no. However, he was in his Hulk period, so the head is green. And uh, we, we talked about where does the head go, at the top or the bottom? How would you like your arms? Do you want them pointing up, pointing down? Um, which one is right and which one is left? So with each project, you, you let them do, use their skills to create the project, and you interact with them with the language, helping as required. Here's our number two. We've used a stencil. So this is the negative stencil, the negative I image, and then we've uh, colored over it with crayon. So now we have crayon uh, rubbing of the number two. So this gives a feeling of the shape. We have two items on the ring. Here's our project. Two eyes wink and blink that help me to see. Our picture with two people. A set of two and the number two. And on our third page we have a sticky two from the <coughs> um, scrapbooking place with two uh, dots on it. We have a set of two, and you'll notice that it is enclosed. If we just put stickers everywhere, we have a one and a one and a one and a one. Whatever your set is, enclose it and use that concept. Our set is two. Have them draw the circle around the set of two. And <clears throat> here we've used the pocket out of paper plate math holding numerals, sets, and number words. And this is a laminated uh, section out of an activity book where they can use a write and erase pen to practice their twos. And it's a curve and a straight line. So we're practicing curves and straight lines. The first one is going to be probably huge. Not a problem. Just the more they do it, the more their skills improve and just encourage them uh, to continue trying. Here's number three, our three items. And you notice we've used mixed media. The more you mix it up, the more exciting it is, the more fun it is, and the more it's, the, the information sticks and is integrated into their lives. And um, then to be able to be pull it out later uh, it, when they're doing their math. So we use three colors of a pipe, of a pipe cleaner and made a three. We have a little pop-up three. Here is our project three. And because it looks like a road, we, we used cars and made a set of three cars. Here's our picture with three people. 
So again, keep, keeping the consistent elements. And here's our mixed media. Again, we've used the stickers to make sets, but we took a motorcycle and dipped it in paint and ran over the three with our motorcycle. And then we ran around the page and then we ran around the three again. This is great really for all your numbers. Um, running a little motorcycle or a car or some little item that they, they one of their favorite toys around the number gives them the shape. Number four, and here we've made our numbers a little bit. I have more than four here, but they are sets of four because I have four green, four yellow, four orange, and four red. Here's our picture of four. The four items on our rings. These are paper clips, so you can use home office, <coughs> kitchen items, whatever you can find around the house. Uh, magazine collage. Again, uh, we have a laminated space for them to write. These are straight lines. The four uses straight lines, so we're practicing curves and straight lines. And in our mixed media, we used crayon resist. So we uh, wrote the number four on the four, then painted over it, and of course the crayon pops out, which is like exciting for them. It's almost like magic. And <coughs> we started to look around the house for numbers. So there are numbers on the clock. This one shows four o'clock. Analog clock, digital clock. We have four cents, four pennies. We made a little book of things of four and put it on the page. These are our sticky letters from also from a scrapbooking place. There are four letters in the word four and we put four dots on each letter. Number five uh, has, five, has a nickel. So we have five nickels. So five cents there, we show them that the nickel is five cents. We have our five people. We have a set of five stars. And we've added a shape that uh, shows five. So it has five points on the star. And this is how they usually remember. High five, show me five. Uh, so five is the number of fingers on their hand. Fingers and thumb, actually. Um, and this is from an activity book where I found a picture of a hand holding five things. So as you're looking through these activity books in the market and that kind of thing, keep in mind what numbers are coming up that you're going to work on. Here we cut it with a different pair of scissors so it has a texture. And we're showing all of our fives. We have a pentagon shaped five, a star, five points on a star, five fingers on a hand, the number five, this is a paper from a scrapbooking store. They can choose their own paper, and that makes it more exciting. We have a set of five. We're going to stop at five in this video due to time, but I would also like to show you three, a couple other items that I think are great for uh, continuing the uh, number concepts one through five. I love the rabbit series by Alan Baker. This one is rabbit, gray rabbits, one, two, three, and he makes shapes out of clay. And his drawings are wonderful, and it's really a fun book. Gray Rabbit's Odd One Out talks about counting and sorting. These foam dice are great. You can throw the dice, count the dots, what number does it go to. You can use a numeral and the dice, and they're going to match, they throw the dice and match the number to the numeral and pick it up off the table. This is an interesting little activity. These are called Think and Blink Numbers, and it has a, it, it changes as you move the light, so it shows the num, a numeral of the thing, like there's 16 marbles. And then when you flip it, you, or you move it, it shows the numeral 16. This is kind of fun. They can hold it and count, and then immediately they see the numeral. It goes back and forth. Um, it's a great little activity. And then on the back, it's not, it doesn't move. But again, it has 
16 items. Look for our next video, which will cover the numerals 6 through 10, 10 being an extremely important part of the math for the rest of their life. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.